We bring in head coach, head Aggie, Jimbo Fisher. Coach, how we doing, man? Doing well. How you doing? Oh, we're doing great. Uh, can't be better than you, though. I mean, almost a 60-point win. I know it wasn't about <laughs> Lamar, but that was a heck of a bounce-back performance for your offense. What was your biggest takeaway after what you witnessed on Saturday? I think the efficiency, decision-making, uh, execution. We had a couple drops that, uh, you know, it, it could, could have been a little better, but we, we – we were efficient on third down, knew what we were trying to do, picked up blitzes. Even on Lamar, we handled the game. They brought multitude of blitzes and did some different things up front that I thought our front and our backs and our tight ends did a really good job of, of getting hats on hats and their different schemes they did in the blocking and passing, which I was very proud of. Coach, Kellen looked pretty smooth last weekend yep. as well. How would you evaluate his play now as we move into week four? I think he's playing well. I think uh, his decision-making in the game was good. Uh, he was accurate. Uh, one or two throws maybe here or there, but moved through the ball on the run, moved around well, made the sit, pulled and, and used his legs when he had to. And, and I think it was very quick and decisive in what he saw in the secondary. And the other thing, he made a lot of checks and did a really good job in the blitz game of directing our protection to get things picked up. Coach, everybody always asks you the offensive questions. I was around you enough <laughs> to know. You know a lot about the other side of the football. If you, you're better on our side. Absolutely. <laughs> what, uh, what, what challenges do you does Bo Nix give you guys as far as trying to stop that offense being the perfect guy for Malzahn? Well, I, I think the first, the eye violations that Auburn creates with the fly motions, the different formations, you know, the, the different kinds of runs. And then he quarterback runs you. Because when he outnumbers you on those motions, if you don't create leverage on the football, then you get soft inside and they can run. And then Bo is such a competitor. And then when he drops back, they talking about you want to affect the quarterback and you want to rush him. But you better make sure he stays in the pocket. You better make sure. Because young guys, a lot of times, the best way to get them going is get their scrambling, get them step up out of the pocket, find those reads. You, you disconnect from a guy downfield, he makes plays, and his confidence goes through the roof. I think keeping him contained in his legs as well, but he can throw the football and hurt you. He can do everything. He's an outstanding player. But the, their eye violations and their formations and the way they fly motion, the quarterback runs, and then his scrambling ability are all going to be a huge challenge. Coach, last year you guys were great against the run. You guys have been pretty good against the run this mm -hmm. year. The one thing that I know you guys were very focused on was trying to really improve your pass defense. How would you yes. assess that group to this point, and where can they go from here knowing that they have some big challenges lying ahead? Well, I, I've been very pleased with that. I thought we played Clemson very well. They made a couple really nice jump ball catches, but yeah. we contained things, didn't give up a lot of plays. Understanding, I think, the scheme, guys are knowing where their help is. And I think in the, just like you know how you fit a ball up front, who, how they, who they spill it to, it's just as important. And the back end, where's my help? What, what routes do I got to set on knowing I got help inside or outside? And I think that knowledge has helped. And I think we know we've mixed in some schemes. And I think our front health, we're pressuring the passer. And sometimes we can play the front in a six-man box and two gaps sometimes. And it really helps in the secondary too. So we're, I think Mike's doing a tremendous job of, of mixing those things up. All right, Coach, back to offense. I know last year you came in and everybody talked about the leaps that Kellen Munn has made. Where, where is he now? From the time you got him to right now, what, what things do you love about him? And then what's some things he still needs to kind of improve on and get better at? I, I think his overall knowledge, Marcus, is tremendous. And what I mean by that is the questions he asks, understanding how to set protections, how to slide to center, how to get his backs where he can get protected. When, if they do blitzing, the hot routes, those things. His, and, you know, we're a coverage read team. And he's reading coverages very well. Uh, and sometimes, though, you know, he's in a point where he really does know everything. And sometimes – and, and, Greg, you'll appreciate this. You can know so much sometimes that you anticipate a defense should do something and they don't. And occasionally you go, you know, in your mind, you've already made that up. And just quit, you know, just react to your eyes, knowing what they should do, get your progressions, and just let your eyes say that. And don't predetermine something that should happen because, like I say, they make mistakes too. <laughs> okay, that's, a, that's, break, that's breaking news. Uh, Kellen Mon too smart to play quarterback. That's breaking news. I, I didn't say that, but the knowledge. You, you know exactly what I mean. I completely get it, Coach. Now, I know Alyssa wants to ask you about some prized possession that you purchased in the offseason. Alyssa, yeah. this is something that I know Coach is proud of. Right. We, we have a pretty good research department here at Thinking Out Loud, Coach, and they've told us that you made a purchase of a cow fairly recently. Can you yes, sort of take us through what the cow is for, why you decided to get one, does it have a name, all the important <laughs> stuff? Well, I live, I live, uh, I grew up on a farm with cows. We had all that stuff. But they, as good an Angus ranch it probably is in the world is down there, the 44 Ranch, which is right here close by. And, uh, the, the head guy there is he's an Aggie and a great guy and a good friend of mine and I you know I got in he was a registered cows and he he has he has the best beef 
all in the country. I mean, everywhere that a lot of those big restaurants and all y'all, all you fancy guys up there, all, all the media guys get to eat night before the game. You're eating, you're eating beef off the 44 Ranch. I promise you. You're eating. That's where all those are uh, served. That's where a lot of that meat comes from. And but it's it's a cow. He's a very high register cow. And there's you know it's just like horses. I mean, and you breed cows and, and the calves and the bulls and everything that come from them and that you sell. And uh, it's it's an investment in you, what we do. And you, I, I do that for I grew up around cows and all that stuff. You can confirm it's not a Longhorn though, correct? No, it's definitely not. Okay, a just make sure. <laughs> and the other the other thing, Coach, uh, I was pretty amazed by its name. Uh, 44 Ruby 9719. Is that like an offensive play? I mean, what, 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 what are you it putting is. that they in? Got a, they got to name them and who, you know, who the, who the mother is, who the fa- you know, who the, who the father is. And, uh, and then there's a whole conglomerate when you register all those so they can keep all their bloodlines and, and, uh, on record. So you're going to put that in the 44 Ruby, 44. Ruby. If that's a check at the line of scrimmage, we're coming back at you. <laughs> you, you never know. It could be. All right, Coach. We got one more for you. We have this yes, thing uh, on the set we call a suggestion box. So we're pulling. Uh-huh. In a question out we have no idea what it's going to be until we pull it out of the box uh here's your question is a hot dog a sandwich yes or no no <laughs> oh, a hot right. dog is a hot dog it's a hot it's in its own lane it's in its own lane simple keep it simple it is coach we appreciate you man thank you for coming through uh, yeah, if you ever want to purchase another cow in the name of Marcus Spears, go ahead and do it. I'll <laughs> gladly take it off your hands. Yeah, I, you, I, you'll eat my cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting to eat that one. <laughs> hey, it's, hey, it's no. good now. It's, 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 it's the best meat in the business now, I'm telling you. Oh, my goodness. He, hey, that's a good, hey, that's a good promotion. Jimbo Fisher cattle. That's a good one. That's a side gig. We appreciate it, Coach. Thanks for the time. Thanks and best for of having luck me, guys. This week. Great to be with y'all. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.